So hello everyone. Today we're going to discuss virtue of prudence and frugality. Under the subject, Introduction to Philosophy of the Human Person. So according to St. Thomas Aquinas, recta ratio agibilium, which means right reason in things to be done. So this is in connection to our topic for today. So there are reasons why we need to do things. So there are three acts of prudence. This is the council, judgment, and command. So um, here right now in our contemporary world, we are struggling with different problems. In the picture, we can see about the overpopulation that's in Hong Kong. And the other picture portrays the excessive amount of garbages we, we waste every day. On other pictures, um, illegal logging, right? So we cut a lot of trees to provide us shelter, buildings, and other necessities, right? And the other picture portrays overpopulation. Because of the overpopulation, we need more shelters, which affects our environment in the process of deforestation. So what is the connection between virtue of prudence and frugality with these pictures? Frugality means is the quality of being frugal, sparing, thrifty, prudent, or economic in the consumption of consumable resources such as food, time, or money, and avoiding waste, lavishness, or extravagance. So we mean frugality if we are being thrifty. We are careful on the things that we consume. We don't excessively consume things or waste things that are not necessarily needed. So that is the meaning of frugality. So how about these pictures? So in this picture, we save money. We save money for um, the future. We plant vegetables and fruits um, instead of buying those things, right? So these pictures portray being um, prudence. So prudence and frugality is all is connected. So how do we associate the virtue of prudence and frugality in taking care of our environment? So we all know that we are tagged as the steward of the nature, right? Because we are the highest form of living. We were told that we are the highest form of living because of our intellect, our uh, the things that we can do and many more. So because we have the virtue of prudence and frugality, we have the mindset or we have the uh, consciousness to protect and to uh, establish our good concerns to our environment. Because if we don't take care of our environment right now, our future daughter and sons will not have this kind of environment that we are experiencing right now. So do you want your child to live in a very populated place and he won't experience fresh air and many other things that we are experiencing right now. So because of the virtue of prudence and frugality innated to other to ourselves as a person, we should use these virtues in protecting our environment. So what are the things that we can do to our environment? We need to be mindful about using non-biodegradable like plastics, bottles, 
and many other non-biodegradable things, right? We need to recycle. And we need to separate our biodegradable to our non-biodegradable in in our garbages because if those things are being collected together so the it will just be a waste in the landfill you know so because of that that is one part right other thing is we we can recycle things like a gallon of milk we can use it as a pot for our vegetable or we can use it as a pail in the comfort room and many other things so if you have a spare um, small land at your backyard we can plant vegetable and fruits there to reduce the consumption of to our to reduce our consumption in buying vegetable and fruits in the market so we are helping our financially um, our pocket, right? So what else can we do to protect our environment? So if you are not using your electric fan or any other appliances, we must unplug those appliances. So they'll stop consuming energy and electricity because there are some sources of electricity that are non-renewable. Right? Yes. So there are a lot of things that our government, the society is doing right now to protect the our environment. So as a person, as an individual, we should be contributing to that movement because little thing goes a long way, as they say. So what else? Um, we must put our trashes in the proper places, learn how to recycle, um, switch off the things that we don't use, appliances, and what else. If you are going somewhere and it is just um, near, you shouldn't be, uh, um, you should use your um, own energy to go there, right? You help your health and you also help the environment. So if it is walking distance, you should walk, right? Unlike other people, they tend to ride, um, motorcycle even though it is just 500 meters away so that that is not a frugal mindset so you are wasting your money in gas and you are contributing to the um, pollution that's happening right now what else so we should not um we should not take grant our or we should not take for granted our environment because we only have one. What if we we don't take care of our environment right now? What will happen to our next generation? We don't know, right? But we must protect our future. So here we can see the deep ecology spectrum. So there's anthropocentrism and ecocentrism. So in the anthropocentrism, humans are the center of our concern because we have this higher thinking skill, unlike the other animals. In ecocentrism, all living things and non-living things are at the center of our concern. So in ecocentrism, we are all the same. We take care of each other. But in in androcentrism or anthropocentrism, anthropocentrism demand is higher than the other living things that's why we need to protect those underneath us so this is a sample of activity that you can associate with this topic um, your student will make a video presentation a short one in connection with the virtue of prudence and frugality they will make a simple video presentation on how they will contribute to the um, movement of protecting our environment uh, by showing the virtue of prudence and frugality